catching fish down at the coast. I have no idea what we got, but this is a big, this is a big, it might be a stingray the way it's sucking down to the bottom. I don't really know. Welcome to Texas Brand Adventures. I'm Brad O'Hare, your host, and today, me and Clint are exploring so, an abandoned cabin. Abandoned till today. I've been wondering, like, what's the deal with it, right? It is... It's abandoned, Brad. Well, somebody has dumped a boatload of money into this place over time. Um... This is the sleeping quarters here. Got a set of bunk beds there. I think there's an, I think there was supposed to be another set of bunk beds here. There's just a, a bu there's a bunch of tools, leftover tools and stuff. It's like they just lost interest or lost money or so. I, I don't exactly know. At one time, all this porch was screened in. You can see the uh, screens ripping. I mean, they did it right when they did it. I'm doing hardware. I'm doing hardware. Yeah. Big old doors right there. Nice common area. I mean, what is that? Is that just straight up wood floors or what is that? Yeah. No. Like is it really? This vinyl. We got vinyl plank on the floors. Coon's been coming in here and having a field day with this insulation. It's like a ghost town over here, Clint. Yeah, I don't think you want to go skinny dipping in that tank. There's a skinny dipping tank. I mean, at one time it was fresh water. You think so? Yeah. Oh, sure. So do the deer lease. Yeah. Yeah, when the water looks like that, you just throw a couple of chlorine tablets, no problem. All right. So what? what is this here, Clint? This is the, this is the uh, a Phoenix composting toilet. So it's, they, a, it's a Pooperator 2000. Yeah. They had at one point, they had the, uh, oh, actually, I guess they never got to it, to be honest. So I guess they really, they built this around. You, bunk, you dump your poo in here? How does it work? I have no idea. Yeah, I guess. Well, you pipe it in. And you crank on this? The, there's, a, there's a bathroom right above us. Clint. We got to go upstairs. Let's see what's upstairs. Got a lot of, lot of poop. Lot of poop. Wind's really blowing up here, eh? Yeah. I told you. So there's a toilet and a shower. Man, you to come all the way to the I know, right? Look at that. Look at the view, though. Look at the view from up here, isn't that beautiful? What is it? Is that supposed to be the toilet room? No, no. Yeah, I think that's what the idea was. The toilet was supposed to be in there. Shower right there is probably going to be like lavatory or something. What's in the box? Yeah, square one. I think that's four. Glass door hardware. Oh, for that glass door there? I think so. Alright, so Clint, the, the the question is is that if we had this cabin, would you go upstairs to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night? No. What right what would you do? I just just you just right off the side. you just find you a little area to go I'd or just right on the dock. Right Oh, right on, right on the dock. Right on the dock, like the raccoons do. Put a little napkin on it. 
shut the yeah, door to the. We don't want it to go bad. Yeah, we don't. We don't want the the weather to get in there. Break in. Put just enough line on there, Brad. I, I like to. I like to live on the edge of my seat, you know. If y'all just saw that, but why did you kill it? I tried to, it wasn't getting there. I couldn't get in there. So, so that's my fault or your fault? That's your fault. Next time, Brad. Straight up just broke the line. All right, Clint. Oh, you need you need me to get the net? Don't let it get to the prop. Y'all are wondering why we're saying it's the wind off Lake Amistad because uh, we were supposed to have another partner who will stay nameless. His name's Brad. And uh, yeah, he didn't want to come because he was like, it's going to be too windy. I'm too old for that. Well, the fish don't care if it's just got a little wind coming off the, the yeah. gulf there. Is it already on? Oh, yeah. Too much wind. Can you help with can you help with that uh the net? Yeah, I get the net. Oh that's a good one for me. Let me get <laughs> this half <fast. laughs> Oh man. Oh, oh. Come on, dang it. Don't get underneath that motor, Brad. Down the Georgia plane in the background? Not for my GoPro. Maybe for the phone. Sure, I'm glad we brought the net. Yeah. Oh, it's a good one. Yeah, I'm going on. There it is. Good job, Brad. There it is. Yeah, nice. I had to tighten up the drag on the old zipper. Get, it's getting a little away from you there, eh? Big drum, big drum. No, don't get it away from the motor. This morning has worked out just how I wanted it to. We woke up, came over to our secret, secret spot, and we catch a fish. Ain't that right, Clint? It's a secret, secret spot. Man. It's a secret, secret. It's just not one secret, it's two secrets. All right, Clint just threw out the very last shrimp, pinched the head off and threw it out. Got it on the Zepco 9808. That's right. With the bait alarm. The bait alarm going. We're gonna try to get one more in the box. Just relaxing. 
beautiful morning. A little overcast, but that's okay. Very little wind. Very little wind, Brad. All right, Clint, make me proud with the live shrimp. It ain't pulling no drag. Oh, there it goes. I was gonna say, better not be no dang hardhead. Nope, it's not. <clears throat> yeah, baby. Well, you close it right there. That's it. We got a problem, Clint. We got too much fish. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Texas Bitter Adventure. Do me a favor. If you're new to my channel, consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you know when I post new videos. I'll catch you on the flip side. You dang hillbillies!